Hello everybody, welcome to part 2 of Train Problems. So in the previous video, we have already seen the basics of train problem, the formula of speed, distance and time, how they are interrelated and the this basic conversion from meter per seconds to kilometers per hour. In this video, we are going to see two types or two cases or the different type of questions which usually occurs in the competitive exam. So let's start by looking into case one and its question and then we will move on to the case number two. So let's first see the case one in which a train crosses a stationary object which has no horizontal length. So it can be a tree, a lamp, a post, a pole or a man. Okay, so anything which has a vertical length but doesn't have any horizontal length in that case, what will be the distance covered? What is the value that we have to substitute in the place of distance? So let's first understand the scenario then let's see how to substitute it. So let us suppose there is a train which has to cross a pole. Okay, a train which has to cross the pole. So we know that our formula is speed is equal to distance upon time. So in this case, what will be the distance? So that is what we are going to discuss over here. So let's see what will be the distance. So here you can see the train is moving and it is about to pass the pole. We can see here that the train has crossed the lamp. So when does the train cross the lamp? When the back side of the train has crossed the lamp. And we can also notice here that the length that is the distance that was covered by the train is the length of the train itself. You can see a transparent image over there that is the train was initially over there. It has crossed the lamp currently. Therefore, the distance traveled is the length of the train itself. Therefore, the formula will be speed is equal to length of the train upon time. So, let's do a question on case number 1. So, the question asked is, find the time taken by a train of length 150 meters moving with a speed of 90 kilometers per hour to cross a pole. So, question is very simple as discussed in the scenario that is there is a train, there is a pole and the train has to cross completely the pole and we have to find the time that is taken for the train to cross the pole. So initially we will first write the given things. So what are the things given over here? So given is the length of the train. So length of the train is given as 150 meters. Okay. So length of the train is given and what is given is the speed of the train. That is speed with which the train is Moving is given as 90 kilometers per hour. Okay, so length and speed both are given. Now you can see here that length is in meters and the speed is given in kilometers per hour. Therefore, let's convert the kilometer per hour to meters per second. So this conversion has already been discussed in the previous video. So if you haven't noted my previous video, the link is there in the description box and you can even find the link in the iTag above. So for converting from kilometers per hour to meters per second, we will multiply it with 5 by 18. So on cancelling, you will find the answer to be 25 meters per second. Okay, so 25 meters per second we have got as the speed. Now you can see length is in meter and speed is also in 25 meters per second. Now the question is to find the time taken by the train to cross the pole. So we know that the formula is speed is equal to distance by time. So therefore we can write time as what? Time is equal to, we'll bring speed down, that is distance by speed. It can be written like this, that is time is equal to distance by speed. Therefore, we know that distance, what is distance? In the case we have already discussed, what is distance? Distance is always the length of the train. So what is the length of the train? So time is equal to 150 divided by the speed of the time that is the 25 meters per second. So on cancelling we can see that the time that is 25 6 is 150 therefore the time taken is 6 second. So it was so easy just you have to do certain conversions and the main basic thing that was over here that usually people Memorize the formula and go but they get confused with the distance and the length of the train. Whether the length of the train can be the 
uh, distance covered by the thread. So I guess after discussing the scenario, it was very simple. So now let's see the case two. Next we have case two in which a train crosses a bridge or a tunnel. So both bridge and a tunnel are stationary, but it has certain horizontal length. So in this case, how we will find the distance that is what will be the substitution into the distance travel. So let's see that scenario. Suppose there's a train which has to cross a bridge. So in that case, what is the distance? Let's check it out. So here you can see the train is crossing the bridge and it is said to have crossed the bridge when the backside of the train has completely crossed the bridge. That is, it is out of the bridge. Therefore, in this case, the distance travelled will be the length of the train itself and the length of the bridge because it has completely crossed the bridge only after the backside of the train is outside the bridge. Therefore, the distance travelled will be the length of the train plus the length of the bridge. So now let's discuss a question on case 2. So the question is a train 340 meters long is Running at a speed of 45 kilometers per hour, what is the time that it takes to cross a tunnel of 160 meters long? So here you can see there's a train, there's a tunnel, both the train and the tunnel has a length and the train has to cross this length and we have to find the time that is taken for this train to cross the length. So first let's discuss the given things. So what are the things that is given? So given is length of the train length of the train is given as 340 meters and the length of the tunnel length of the tunnel is 160 meter so two lengths are given the length of the train and the length of the tunnel then what is given is the speed of the train okay so speed is given in kilometers per hour therefore 45 km per hour we have to convert to meters per second so 45 into 5 by 18 so here if you will multiply you can see the answer will be 12.5 that is you will get 25 by 2 that is 12.5 meters per second this is what you will get 12.5 meters per second so now we have the length and we have the speed and we know that in this the formula is speed is equal to distance by time but when both the things are having that is a train as well as a tunnel both are having certain length what we will do we will add up both the lengths therefore we will find time so times formula will be what time is equal to distance by speed and we know that distance in this case is what we will add the distance that is the length of both the object that is the train is 340 plus the length of the tunnel is 160 divided by the speed. What is the speed? It is 12.5. So this is meters per second and this together is meter. So we know that 340 plus 160 is nothing but 500 meters and on dividing it by 12.5 meters per second you will find answer is 40 seconds. So the time taken by the train to cross the particular tunnel is 40 seconds. So see it was very simple just by knowing the formula it is not enough we need to know the concept. So we have first discussed the concept and then we have discussed a problem on each of the cases. So we'll meet up in the next video. Until then, it's bye from Rina.